you? Okay, pa.
Ooh. Mm -hmm. 
that saved Lana. I've no words to properly express my gratitude. He claimed he was going to go and become a witch three days ago. We were getting worried. How can we show our appreciation? We just sold off our sand sheep, so there's not much left here. Even if we try to help you, all we can do is read the stars, so... This is the least we can do. Come and eat a meal with us. I'll make our village a special dish. Oh, just a moment. I'll call Lana to join us. Huh? This village is full of astrologists? Well, I doubt you know what that means. So let me enlighten you. Astrologists look at the position of the stars, record their movement, and tell fortunes based off them. In wide open plains or a desert, it's easy to get lost because there aren't any natural landmarks. That's why they read the stars to get a fix on their location. But if an astrologist gets himself lost, that's one hell of an embarrassing story to tell. Level astrologists can even predict someone's future. But I think the one we saved is a laughable newbie. I'll just show them the damn letter so we can find the bell plant. Welcome to our home. I haven't introduced myself yet, have I? My name is Lana Mia Lucini. Um, please, just call me Lucini. Huh? Tito, we have a visitor. Did he come here from the desert? What? Really? The sand eater was seen nearby. It may have found the village. Our village might get attacked soon. Why, if it isn't little Lana, you brought home a ridiculous problem this time. Why do you think we have to live in a backwater hellhole like this? Your damn husband, too. Your family is nothing but bad luck. Lana, what's going on? Explain it to me, please. Sand Eater! The Sand Eater is here! Run away! The Sand Eater? This is no time to stand idly by. Your mother needs to go now, Lana. Stay here with our guest. What? But, Mom! Relax. I won't let you die, no matter what. <sighs> Goodbye, Lana. Please live long enough to find your own happiness. Wait! Mom, wait!
Appreciate a swamp of this caliber yet? Uh, amazing! A witch! A real witch master! But uh, this stench has to be poisonous. Uh, please, witch master, take me on as your apprentice. Huh? I heard you defeated the Sand Eater. We are in your debt. But I learned that my child, Lana, and the rest of the village was saved by a witch master. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart, both the witch master of the swamp and you, her faithful servant. Well, it was just a coincidence. It's nothing to thank us for. 
the swamp spread under the village, too. I feel really good right now. How wonderful for you. I know it's sudden, Witchmaster, but please, let me be your apprentice. This again? What's with this sudden garbage, anyway? I don't have time to babysit little boys. I'm busy preparing for the Walt Pergus nighttime soiree, after all. Walpurgis? Amazing! So there really is an annual party. Huh? Uh, um, do you know Great Witch Malia? I heard she's a lovely woman! That Great Witch, huh? Thinking about that wicked hack of a witch makes me want to puke. Wow, that's so neat! And she was actually wicked? I'm so surprised right now. What about Thin Eyes Lily? Is she as cool as Ice like rumored? Is she the most popular of all? In a sus which purple peel as strong as they say, she can punch a hole in any wall without even using magic. And Bob Witch Nazaria is said to be really quiet, but she's the leader of all the witches, right? How can you be a quiet leader? How does she give speeches? Maybe she just pantomimes it. You, you're interested in all those third-rate hacks? Not at all! Of course, the Great Swamp Witch is my number one. I want to be the apprentice of the one who saved my life, my new master, Metalia! No. Give up. Hiss off. Don't make me repeat myself. That's enough, Nana. You're troubling the Witchmaster. I... I won't give up. I'll do anything. So please, make me your apprentice. I already said I don't got the time to babysit a child like you. I need to hurry up and find the bell plant. I know! I'll find the bell plant for you. What? You know where it is? Lana, don't say things you know nothing about. Huh? Explain yourself. The bell plant is a mysterious plant that responds to the emotions of whoever is nearby. It used to grow in this area, but now... I believe it's all because the village was filled with fear due to the Sand Eaters. The bell plant grows from a seed within hours, but if it senses fear, it withers away instantly. Huh? So with the Sand Eater gone, shouldn't it start to grow again? Unfortunately, there is more than one Sand Eater out there. This one great witch helped us drive off all the Sand Eaters in the area. But now, since their numbers have grown, doing the same thing again may prove difficult. Unless we can make the people's fears vanish completely, the bell plant will never grow again. No way! There's gotta be a way! Master, I'll find the bell plant for you. Just agree to take me on. I'm begging you, Witch Master. Huh. When I come back tomorrow, I might consider it if you have a bell plant waiting for me. But not today. I've way too much business to take care of. Really? I'm so grateful. 
definitely find a bell plant. Let's go home, Hundred Knight. I'm curious what the dog and that idiot butler are up to.